Welcome back to Hot Trends in and around the home 2006. If the thought of finishing your tired old basement makes you tired, you might get a new attitude when you see how one homeowner pulled it off. The game plan included a little help from an expert and some state-of-the-art tools that made it all a whole lot easier. Homeowner Marcus Chavez recently moved into his newly built home. As the house was being built, Marcus decided to leave the basement room unfinished at the drywall stage to save some money. This way, he could be sure to finish his dream game room exactly the way he wanted. The only problem? He needs a little help. Luckily for Marcus, his next door neighbor Jason has the knowledge and the tools needed to finish the space, so he's offered to lend him a hand. So here we are, this is it, my dream game room. I like this. Yeah? Yeah. Down to the finished drywall stage. Look, what we need to do now is worry about how much primer and paint we're gonna need for the walls and then put some baseboard down. But look, I've got something that'll help you with that. The Craftsman Construction Calculator. It's gonna make our job a whole lot easier. But the first thing we need to do is take some measurements so we can enter that into the calculator. Okay. Looks like 12 feet. Okay. Yeah. Now that we have our measurements, we're gonna enter that into the calculator. So the first wall is 12 feet, eight inches, and one half. Wait a second, you can do the fractions on this? You can do you fractions can. on this. I told you it was cool, yeah. <laughs> now I like to add in 10% just, just to be safe. Okay, plus 10%, as soon as you hit that, gives you your total square feet, what you're gonna need. Unbelievable. All right, so let's move on to the baseboard. Now we have our measurement. The problem is it's in inches. Right. And we can't buy a baseboard in inches. We need to convert that to feet. So watch how easy this is. Convert to feet, there you go. Wow. Measurement in feet. After buying the correct amount of paint, Jason and Marcus got right to work, then moved on to the baseboards. This is the laser track level. Today, we're gonna to be using the precision leveling base. We're gonna be setting your baseboard at about half an inch off the ground so that we can get the carpet underneath. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'll turn the level on. With these three adjustments, I can position my line exactly where I need it to be. These levels right here, make sure that I get this thing level. Mm -hmm. Once my bubble is on center, there's no doubt in my mind, this line is going to be level. One of the best features of the laser level is even if your floor is uneven, you're ensured that your baseboards will be straight and square. All right, Marcus. I'm dying to know what's in this. You've been looking at it all day. <laughs> this is the Craftsman C3 combo pack. Let's open it up. I'll show you what I've got. Oh, man. On the top shelf here, yeah. I've got a half inch cordless drill. Uh-huh. That is a 150 pound torque right angle drill. I love it. Right here, we've got a fluorescent light. But one of the features I really like about this is it's the folding hook. I can take this thing, hang it up, hands yeah. free. I don't have to worry about messing around with it. Nice. We'll use both of these later on. Down here, I have all my saws. Yeah. I've got the trim saw. I've got the jigsaw. I've got the reciprocating saw. Now, one of the things I really like about this, it's got the quick disconnect for the blades. Yeah, the quick release. Once the blade's in there, all I have to do, lift the side, comes right out. Nice. Check this out. It's got your built-in work lights as well. Absolutely, you'll never have to worry where you're cutting with this, you could always see. Nice. Let's take this trim saw, go over here and finish working on this door. Sounds great, next project. I'm gonna be using my five and a half inch laser trim saw. Wait a second, you just said laser trim saw. That's right, man. <laughs> this has a laser also, check this out. Nice. As long as I keep this laser on that tick mark, I'm yeah. going to get a straight cut every time. <laughs> Perfect. Once Marcus installs the jam, it's on to the casing. This compound miter saw we're using with the laser track makes easy work for cutting this molding for the door. Nice. All right, let's go put it on. Yeah. And it's a perfect fit. All right, Jason, we got the door jam on, we got the molding complete. Last thing we've got is a pool table light. Let's get that hung up. All now right. listen, I've already disconnected the power yeah. and connected the wiring from the light. Mm -hmm. Why don't you grab the flashlight and the right angle drill out of the C3 combo pack? All right. We'll get this thing hung up. Sounds good. One of the things I like most about this right angle drill, in a situation like this where I'm working overhead, it makes it really easy. Get this thing set. Okay, Marcus, that finishes that. 
Jason, man, this room has come a long way. I don't even know where to begin to thank you. You know, with the help of some really great craftsman tools, we were able to get the job done. Uh -huh. With the construction calculator, we were able to determine exactly how much primer and paint we needed for the wall. With the laser level, we made sure we got the baseboards on straight. With the C3 combo oh, pack, man. not only were we able to case out this door, we were able to hang that pool table right. <laughs> I'm sure you're on the level. So let's make sure the pool table is. This is the Craftsman Digital Laser Level. I'll be able to know exactly if this thing is level or not. Yeah. If it were off, I would be able to tell right here by just how much. Yeah. Now look, in this corner, Yeah. this is going to show me which end needs to come up. Uh-huh. Looks like the table's level. Let's play that game. All right, man. You break. I've got it. <laughs> 